Hello and welcome to this short introduction to the T-Stream Validator. To access the Validator, you need to log in to the Explanation Portal. You will receive a link, a username, and also a password. You should use these to log in. T-Stream Validator is an online tool. You don't need to install anything or get any kind of additional software. This is your basic workspace when you are working on the T-Stream Validator. You have the original text on your left-hand side and the translated text on your right-hand side. There are a number of functions that you can use. Arrows allow you to navigate between different pages. There is a print function to print out the basic layout, original source text, and translated text. There is also a search function that allows you to perform searches in the original source text and translated text. One great feature of our tool is the In Context Review. The tool will show you the source in its original layout so you can see exactly what the translation refers to. This will save you time and ensure greater accuracy when you review. There is also an option to see only the translation on the right-hand side. In order to do this, we just click on the Change View button and choose the layout we want to work with. You can also download the source PDF from this menu. You can modify the number of sentences you want to see on each specific page. And you can also filter how many sentences you want to see. You can filter the new sentences and the modified sentences where modifications have already been made. We can also find comments in sentences, bookmark sentences, and show all sentences. To start working in the validator, begin reading through the text. When you find a sentence that you would like to change, you click on it, and that will open a small editing window. You can make changes in this window. You can also modify formatting, bold, italic, underline, subscript, and superscript. And terminology is provided as well. When pre-approved terminology is available, it will be displayed. This means Explanation has been asked to use that term for this specific project. Click on the Save button to save the changes that you've made. Clicking on the Restore button will restore the original sentence. To speed up your work, we have also designed a smart tool which handles repeated sentences so that you will only need to change them one time. The Cancel button cancels and closes this particular window. You can also select More Options to get additional options. Here you have the original text, translated text, and editing window. You can indicate specific issues that you found in their severity. You can also add a comment. And you can see here the rest of the approved terminology that is applicable for this specific sentence. Click Save and your comments will be registered. There is also a bookmark function. The bookmark function is there to help the user remember certain things or to keep track of internal information important to the validation process. Please do not make corrections to the translation in the bookmark. Bookmark content is for internal use only and is not shared with explanation. Once you have gone through the text and made all the changes you want, click on the Approve button. A small window will appear in which you can add general comments. You also get an overview of the changes you've made. In addition, this report will be sent to you by email after the validation process has been completed. In case you need it, there is always help available. When you press the Help icon, you get a small guide that includes the explanation of the color scheme and all the functions. One last thing worth mentioning is that you can use the validator online or offline. You can check translations anytime, anywhere, and even when on the move. 
Our customers who use the validator tell us that they can be twice as fast reviewing with the tool as compared to a traditional manual process. If you'd like to try it, please contact your account manager at Explanation.